Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banished. We're in our town of Noble Landing using the Mega Mod and lots of little things to clean up. This will be my first episode uh, in a while that uh, I've recorded uh, uh, since seeing all the comments from the last uh, three or four. So I've recorded a batch of them. I'm going to do that one more time too. Uh, get two or three in tonight because I've got another game I want to bring onto the channel this week. I need some time to, you know, to spend time just playing that game, getting used to it, so that I know what I'm doing when I start recording. Um, all right, things to clean up. One of them, and it's been a few episodes, so I think it was Green Eyes that had uh, uh, reminded me of why we're not getting any building supplies. I looked at this last time, and I saw, okay, we got bricks, we got iron, one of these must not be enough. I didn't look down to see that we need glass. So that's what we're lacking on the building supplies. So to get glass going, in fact, because of that, let's get only one person. There should have only been one person working on this anyway. Okay, so one person working on that. Uh, glass comes out of here. Now we have set it to glassware because we're using the glassware over here, the distillery. It seems like there's one more place. Uh, homewares. No. Glassware. I think we were at one time. Okay. So let's just use one place. Well, let me think about that again. What else manufactures food like items? The bakery doesn't use it. The. Over here. The smokehouse doesn't use it. What else may use glassware? Um. And another thing from while I'm fixing that, it just dawned on me. I was about to say we don't use glassware with the dairy to make milk, though that would make sense. We had a, you know, that might be something to add to the dairy at some point. But um, the dairy, I forgot about last time. I could not remember that we actually had a dairy on the map. So uh, I think it was Cather that suggests we get a couple of the cow pens nearby, which will provide enough milk to keep the dairy going and more, more employees available for the dairy too. I think we can double our output pretty easily if we had a little more milk available. But, in fact, let's just leave that one up as something to remember. But let's go back to glassware. We have been running out of sand. Sand is used to make the glassware. So, well, I've got two employees here. Okay. How do we divvy up what precious little real estate we have to do more things? what I'm thinking about. Glassware, how much quantity do we have? Oh, we have 600 available. Okay, so we could do one of two things. We've got enough, we've got almost enough sand to run two workers. We do tend to run out once in a while. We could get into the shore house to boost the sand, which would be good, and I'm sure we can find a section of shore somewhere to do just that. In fact, that might be the answer right there. Um, we could build a second glassworks so that one worker can make glassware and one worker can make glass. And that way we don't have to think about it again. <clears throat> or we can keep cycling glassworks back and forth to glass and then glassware and back, you know, every few episodes try to cycle it, like I've been doing right here with the homeware supplier who has run out of pewterware. So let's set him up with silverware and he'll run the 100 silverware through. So we get 20 more. Uh, fancy homewares out of this and then we'll go back to making just regular homewares again okay so we could do that same thing with the uh, we have a reed farm here with the glassworks or we could set up an, another glassworks and, and split the, the sand between them for now I'd say let's just go to glass which is going to come we're using coal right now. It's one of the few uses we actually have for coal at the moment, so we'll go ahead and do that here too. So let's make glass out of sand and coal. And we'll just do that for a while until we need to, to swap them out. Did get a reed farm in, and we've got other ones building here. So at this point, once I saw the footprints, I want to jog these over, do another run of it, another couple, and then land over here somewhere. So this will become a pathway as well as an obstacle for uh, for merchant boats to go through. So let that build a little bit further. Windmill is waiting for the for these fields to get done, 
dairy as a reminder. We've got two reed farms going. Looks like it. So let's add two workers. That took care of those. That one goes away. That one goes away. These guys are still being built. Let's look at merchants real quick. What have we got? We have a hungry person over here. That's what we've got. Pause. Is this... Ah, I found our problem. There it is. This is not a connection point. These guys cannot walk out of their houses. Aha. Can I even tear these down because they can't get to that? I bet you I can't. It'd be like the dock workshop. No, the dock storage. I couldn't tear it down because they couldn't get to the front door. And now these folks can't get to the front doors. But that's the problem. It looked good to make the dock trading posts look good to stick these buildings alongside, but it didn't dawn on me. They can't walk from here to there because there isn't a little connection point like I think we're seeing, like this guy right here. That mark right there is a connection point. It's a connection point here only, and that's the only place on the, the whole perimeter of this. I can't get to them. Okay, so we need to tear down this guy. Let's spend what we can. Food is 50,000. Seems like I remember 53,000 uh, sometime in, in the last episode, so we have dropped some. Uh, we had quite a few houses built, so those houses have been stocked with food. Is probably why that dropped. But I guess I can go ahead and let the game roll. We we're going to lose this, this uh, uh, citizen anyway. There's not much I can do for them. But let's go ahead and... Oh, oh. Walked away. Going to go over to this house. And maybe get there in time to eat. I'm oh, going to go out the connection point and go to the... Okay. You go to the nearest house available with food? No. You're going to die before you get to your own house. Um, okay. Well, this goes away. These go away. This gets rebuilt. They get rebuilt with docks in between. That's the only process that I think will work. I can click delete and I think it'll sit there for episode after episode after episode. So, I've learned that lesson. So, what can we get? Or what can we buy with all of this? Let's trade. Let's do it all. 1,000 rice. We'll convert rice into something else, into cheese bread. So, 250 of you guys. And 100 candles. And 50 furniture. Alright, so that is. I got it all? I did. We have 7,050 to spend. Let's see if we can spend it all, and then we'll tear it down, and they'll unload everything. Although it probably doesn't matter, we're still gonna, still gonna have to empty it all to tear it down, aren't we? Well, I can set it all at zero. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Anyway, um, 1,000. Let's do all the ones first. 500. Seal meat, okay. Don't need silkworms. Cheval, Cheval. All right, and then whale meat. Actually, that's a 2,000. What else do we have? <clears throat> pecans, looks like we're gonna get to spend it all. So 2,000 pecans and 50 lobster. All right, so we're going to trade all that out. Trade, dismiss, go to inventory. And if I just hit the delete, they're going to go through and, and empty the storage out anyway. So we don't have to go through these steps. But I figured this time I'd go ahead and, and go to the process of emptying everything out before hitting the delete button. Probably a little more realistic that way. Okay, so we're saying we want zero of everything in here. And with that purchase, we filled one-fourth of it. So this has got four times the capacity of what we just bought. So we'll let that run for a while. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn it off, but let's try to remember to go back to it. And just in case, let me... I mean, we're not showing... If, actually, this one looks like it is working. Tell you what, we'll leave that one alone. Let's just tear this one out. So we're going to say you go away 
Did I do the right one? I didn't. Boys. It is so deceiving, the, uh, where you've got to, you got to hit over here to, to undo that one. Not right here on it. Just clear out over here. Actually, it is in there. Huh. Anyway. So that one's going to go away. This one moved back in. Nope. We, we, sorry guys. We kind of uh, dislocated them and well, another couple came in. So this will tear down in a while once that goes to zero. This will tear down probably not until this goes away, most likely. Another reed farm went in. You're done. Dairy's over here. So a lot of things I want to do this episode. I would like to go ahead and start making domesticated animals. So I would like to... Whoa, you went all the way over here and you stayed alive. That's a long distance to go and make it without starving to death. <clears throat> okay, good. Um, I want to start making domesticated animals so I can put some pens in in various places around food suppliers, food you know, like um, uh, soup kitchens and the dairy and bakeries and those sort of things. Try do a little bit of specializing of our foods since we don't have room for lots of more fields. Come up with other ways to do this. And I'm thinking that we want to put a frontage road along the railroad track. Exactly where I'm not sure. Because this is still kind of in the way to me. Kind of think about taking, I don't know, um, a road that was like right over here might work well to fit a couple of buildings that are train associated whether it's actually you know train stations or just industry in general that would make sense to have a track go up against you know a, oh, I don't know a, uh, a Cooper so that his his uh, crates can be loaded onto a train and roll through or that sort of a thing so if I were just to run a, a road right along the end of this guy I'm, I'm only left with I think one space Row to be there. There might be three spaces in there, so leave with two spaces. Not much is going to fit. I could go like five spaces in, just run a road right there, or I could go across the track and run a road over here. That might be better. Give us room to do some more building in here without the obstacle of a road. Yeah, that's an idea. Let's do that. And I think it's time. Eleven. Yeah, it's time to get uh, stone in this area. So we're switching everything over to stone, not uh, not key keystone. So regular stone roads. I'm gonna send you across. One, two, three, four, five spaces. So six one is the road. <clears throat> Shoot you across there. And we've got the mossy road over here. Ha. I'll leave it for now. Maybe later we'll go through and swap one or the other out. Does this have to go over here, though? I think not. We'll stick to just this area right here for now. And this one doesn't have to go through either. So, not everything has to cross a railroad track. A lot of times just the major roads do and everything else kind of dead ends. Which means we could go in with a dirt road right along here. And the main road cuts through the middle. As I was editing last episode, trying to figure out where to place this windmill, I got to thinking that might look really good along the railroad track too, but it's already built, so I'll leave it. And I was watching that episode, seeing how congested this is, thinking, oh, I need to get a road in there, so let's get that one done. And let's go ahead and put in the regular stone roads through here. So you're going to go out to there. We'll stop a, oh, a couple short. And let's send this guy through here. We're taking them to there. It's probably a good place. And we'll go ahead and surround the town, which means we're not going to get a whole lot of stuff built this time if we do too many roads. So I do want to be careful about uh, getting a little too crazy here. What is building? So we want to get back to this, see how this came out. Do we still have a, a dock to build here? Or did it somehow get lost? It's gone. Uh, that noise was another trader. That's right, traders. I think he gave up on me, didn't he? Um, how you doing? 
as the game already recalculated this path. Nope, not yet. So let's get a worker in here. I wonder if a worker being in there has anything to do with, with the recalculation. It's just, uh, you know, if it's not real to the game unless someone's actually employed. Hmm. Okay, so these two need to be thought about again. Crop fields are, are getting there. Um, what was that? You just popped up. Potter is dry goods. These are dry goods. So let's take dry goods up another 10,000. Just be done with that. Pretty sure we've still got lots of storage around. We'll check that one of these times. All right, let's pause a second and kind of take a look around at these uh, different traders. That's what it was. We were starting to work with, with the traders and when we realized there was the problem right there. So that's really, that's what's been causing all the homeless problems for what, almost 10 episodes now? At least, at least six or seven. So this guy here, we're looking for carrots. I think that's all we're really looking for. Though possibly uh, olives if we find them. What have we got? Do a vegetable oil. Now, our press is employed over there. We're making it already. We can go look at our how our bakery's doing. Making, what was it with oil? No, we turned off the oil and went to eggs. So we're making bagels now. So now that the oil is functioning, we can go back and switch it back to donuts. That's right. Uh, let's see. Pie, sausage, kumquats. Kumquats. Uh, chicken. No, don't see anything. Just miss you. Turn you off. Who else has been waiting and maybe leaving soon? You are animals. Dismiss you. You are. If I find domesticated animals, I think I'm going to skip them. I want to go ahead and start making them, so no point in paying for it. Anyway, silverware. You know, I could do one more round of that. I could. It's going to be a while before we're making our own. And that way we can get a few more fancy uh, homewares in stock, just in case we actually start to build with them. So I'll do that. Uh, seedlings. I want to get both of the, uh, the different greenhouses going soon, too. Uh, otherwise, don't see anything here that we need. So we'll stick to that 1500 and that looks like it's easily done out of 30 so we'll go that route so what is that 50 yeah trade and dismiss you <clears throat> all right so he's done and probably one more over here no so you guys are all done now how are you doing 17 percent i like to keep that up there where i can see it but i know i'm gonna cripple my game if i do already getting real jumpy from this one being here um where are we now we're in autumn oh we've had an early frost we got early autumn autumn and late autumn and we've already hit 28 degrees so we've lost the the back end of a lot of our crops speaking of crops another note on my list here we're not building or not making anything with hops right now so i'm going to go through and eliminate hops and convert this over to a carrot field and that will eliminate the need to try to squeeze carrots in here somewhere. And since we've taken the blueberries out of the, uh, the bakery and not making muffins anymore, the blueberries that are gathered, plus this one blueberry field right here, ought to be enough to keep the blueberry tinnery going, the fruit tinnery. So between those two, I think we've got that problem solved. So let's make this guy go away. Let's make this road go away. And we will extend this field out probably to something like that. Let's see here. Food, crop, field. I want, what are we in with here? So we've got a 9. So 10 by 18 can be done now that uh, since storage and housing is right next to it. So that would be a 9 by, like 9 by 19. So something like that. If we... Save the tree, put the road, line up with this other tree. That should do it. So that would be a dirt road. 
right there. Dirt road here. And we'll just run right there. Stone road here, dirt, and the perimeters. Alright, I mean, the side roads will be dirt for now. And just the main roads will be, uh, will be uh, the stone. Okay, so as soon as that's done, and I believe I can prioritize that. Yeah. Let's get this out so I can do this while I'm thinking about it. So what else to do in this area? Let me just park it right here while I'm glancing at my, my list here. Uh, let's see, that's done, that's done. A well at the Tenneries. There's Dr. Duane that suggested we think about some wells around to offset all of these red rings in these areas there and, and even these over here. I offset them already by adding uh, the, the fruit stand and the church. Seems like there's one more thing. No, the uh, herbalist. Did the herbalist did help or didn't? Did not help. Okay. So there's only two rings over there. What was that one? Another merchant. Where are you at? Just out of curiosity. You're over here. Uh, silver ore we've been buying. Stone is fine. Logs. Said so we'd get those anytime we saw them because they're so cheap. We don't see them very often. Oh, and there's something else I need to fix too, but I can't do that here. Uh, fancy coke and firewood. We're good. So 430. What are we going to do that with? <clears throat> Survival coats we've been used for a while. So to get 430 out of that, um, that's going to hurt a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 20, let's see. Yeah, I'm recording late at night. It's, it's, I'm tired. What's 27 look like? Another 25. That just about did it. Uh, 25. One of these guys and one of these guys. There we go. So trade and dismiss you. Um, I realized last episode as I was editing that one of these traders has got a food vendor coming that I asked to start bringing carrots. But I forgot to undo the never and switch it to always so it's never going to come but now that we're switching this field over i think i'm not going to worry about that i think three fields of carrots ought to be enough if not then we'll deal with it later but yeah i think we'll do that so that road may or may not be in yet probably not it's not as dark as that one but food field you're going to there i'm at 19. And I hear a scratching at my door right now. I think uh, Nico, or our cat, has heard my voice and he wants in, but I'm not going to wander over there and do that right now. Crop field, this guy is in. We're going to make wheat here. There you are. Pick up one person, employ. There we go. This one is getting close. We are in early winter, so there should be plenty of time to get that finished. Where are we going to store this stuff? <clears throat> Where are we storing the coffee? That's probably something we never even worked out, is it? No, there are no barns out here. Huh. Okay. These four big footprints could go over here. Could go on the town side, though I'd rather not. We could make that a building that would look good next to the railroad. Yeah, I kind of like that. We've got a stone road coming through here, a merchant. In fact, I don't know if that stone road is over there. It is not. Let's put a stone road in there, too. That guy. I think that's about the right length. There, that'll tell me. Yeah, right there. So, they can... All four fields head to center and head this way. Let's put a barn of some kind right over here. And I'm thinking one of red ketchups would look good next to the, uh, the, the railroad tracks. Thinking these. A medieval barn. Just feels like a, uh, um, a railroad kind of a thing. And... Gotta get into here to have 
roads on both sides. Let's think about that. Yeah, we'll do it right there. Okay. So you're going to be there. You're probably too close to the track, huh? Yeah, you probably are. Let's redo that. So that last one was another merchant. Uh, there. Take you away. Go back to this one. Let's do that again, but one space off the road and one space off the track. Let me look at it this way. Yeah, that looks better. We'll do that. And I don't need to see that one build. Okay. A couple of merchants over there waiting. Let's go take a peek at them. There we are. Uh, no, we're not. I was thinking of something else. There we are. How's that doing? Oh. Well, he's still functioning. Oh, okay. Anyway, over here. More silver ore. I'm not going to be buying these forever. Eventually we'll get a few more gem mines or precious metal mines in and we'll, we won't worry about it. Tools are doing fine. We were in the fours not too long ago. Now we're in the fives, so we're good. Stone is fine. I think we're good. Okay, it's a 90. A couple of 30s, right? Three. Take care of you. Trade and dismiss. This one. That didn't work. There we are. 13% full. There's nothing to sell. So we'll just dismiss you. Just waiting for this to go down to zero. It's almost there. Tell you what, let's go ahead and put a, uh, a destroy order on that. They will continue to clear it out anyway. So that I don't forget about it. This is the same process. That didn't work. Okay, pause. Oh man. What actually took it? Bridge. Reclaim. Okay. Just go this direction and hit it. There we go. Alright, so you we can put up here and we'll see that the structure's being demolished and 12% of storage remaining. We'll see that count down to zero and then start building up to 100 again as they're actually tearing it apart. So those guys are being torn down. Croftfield, we're waiting to see it go in. Oh, that's the other one. That's over here. Now we do need to get these things done. That is over here. Oh, you're in. Okay. That one's almost done. You are going to be carrots. Right there. So pick up one worker. You're good. This one is so close to being done. So let's prioritize this one so that we definitely are up and running by early spring. Otherwise, over here, so we've got a barn. <clears throat> um, we eventually want to get a train station in here. Probably. Well, more of a pedestrian station rather than industrial. Well, pedestrian is probably not yet a. What do you? What would you say? A, a people station instead of a, a an industry station. Merchant has arrived. What are our possibilities here? Or is that road, train, stations? What have we got? Food, textile, utility, and material. Huh. Okay. Does the ghost one have other options? What would that be? There. There. These are the engines and all the cars. Nope, nothing else there. Huh. So I guess we would have to create our own to be more of a of a people train station rather than a train depot or some kind of industrial use for it. Okay. The, uh, let's see, road, train, really doesn't give you any information until you get there. But when we do get there, you'll see from the numbers that uh, it's not, well, as far as I can see, it's not really functional for us. It's mostly for show. Um, I think here, this is the wheat field, right? Yeah. Wheat, pick up one more per one more farmer, and you're up and running. And let's go ahead and check out. Let's see, who are you? Farmer. Why? I didn't turn off. Well, it was only one farm we've torn down. Why do I have two? Maybe I don't have two farmers. 
have a farmer and a trader. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's go ahead and take down a farmer and let's take down a trader. Trader. There you are. Okay, you're done. You're now a laborer. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Let's look at traders. Who just came in? You're on your way. Here we are. You are not someone that we need anything from, huh? No, you're dismiss. You are more animals. Dismiss. You are rolling in, and you look like you're pretty, pretty serious over there. Uh, purchase. Are you the one that I got carrots from? No, you're not. Trade. Do not need food. Closing in on 60,000. Though I will take the olives for mashing into vegetable oil. And that is it. That reminds me, I wanted to check out the uh, uh, the baker over there in the, in the town. So 2,000 of you. <clears throat> so go for the 20s. Yeah, frock coats will do that. 100, no, yeah, 250. So cloth down coats, we're out. Okay, so we're making frock coats now. So 100 of you, and we're ready to go. Trade and dismiss. Nobody else in this area? Nobody there? You are right there. I'm going to put you back up on top. And actually, we're running with two trading posts queued up, and we're still doing okay. Good. Okay. Uh, bakery. We talked about this a little bit ago. Um, there. Flour and vegetable oil. Oh, we didn't switch you over. I left you with the idea of going to build another one. That's what it was. And you are out of olives. Interesting. There's not going to be enough to supply this. I wonder if they eat the vegetable oil as well as use it for something like this. You've made 800 vegetable oil. You've made how many muffins? 400. Okay, well that's reasonable. Maybe two vegetable oil per batch of muffins? That works, so they're not eating the vegetable oil. It is all going here. It's just not enough. Okay. So if we were to buy olives once in a while. All right, we'll leave you alone. I do have lots of eggs in our system now with the, uh, in our economy with this guy going. There you are. Egg pen is making, what was it 400? Yeah, 400 eggs a year. So we do need another bakery going. And over in here, wanted to get a bakery and a coffee house and a few things like that out on the main road. So that's going to be some of the, the town, the city buildings that will go in there. So anyway, I think I was talking about this, but yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. So we may put in a building that looks like a train station. And there were a couple of them. I remember watching Vapa doing the George series and found a few buildings that looked pretty good for a train station, a people station. So we'll figure out one. Of, it seems like this one of the schools was uh, was one of them. Let's peek at that real quick. The college? Uh, not quite what I'm thinking of. Yeah, we'll figure it out when we get to that point. But that's probably what will go in this area right in here. And. Uh, I don't know if we'll get industrial. We might get more like a farming depot in this area. We could do that. And a people depot. And then maybe some kind of a logging based depot in here somewhere. And then we'll curve down into this industry area and do something over there. More merchants. And then we've got to find some way to sneak back up into here and uh, get into this trading situation with a track. We're going to track straight across into here maybe and turn with a depot right there. That could work. If we can figure out how to get from here back into the main line again. Then eventually we've got to uh, get back out of this map with the track. So we're coming in, <clears throat> kind of imagining it coming in from George, you know, from out in that area, and eventually leaving. It could go straight, right? If, if we do abandon this, 
and make more of the agriculture area over here. Then it could possibly, eh, I don't know, be right over here and there's nowhere for our people to walk. What are you? Just some iron, okay, iron ore. So if we curved over far enough to get to a place like this, then we could put another tunnel right there and take off toward, oh, Lake Dulcet, Vapa's map, or something along those lines. Or we'll curve and head up north and take off out one of these uh, exits out here. Maybe even up this valley or something. So speaking of this valley, how did this ever come out? Roads made it to here. And... Let's see, we're going to leave the stone. Though we should get rid of that one stone right there. That would be this guy. We'll get rid of you. Otherwise, let's add... Dirt roads would look better. And we'll do the mossy dirt road. This is probably going to be a wooded area for a while. You'll go there. You'll head into there. Not really a... Well, it kind of is a front door. I'm thinking... Okay, so mossy... I can get into there. I will do something like that. There. See how that all builds out and what we need to do to reconnect. Over here, kind of the same thing. That goes that way. That is the mossy road as well, so we'll take that kind of this way. And then we'll dirt. No, moss dirt. Out of here. Yeah, something like that. And then come off of there and make our way over eventually to that guy there. Something like that. So they have access. Their storage is down here. We needed to take a look at that. I know what I was doing. The wells. That's what we were talking about. Um, we are filling up. Uh, tin ore. Iron ore. There's no tin ore. There's tin ore. And it's being taken away just as fast as it gets here. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Um, it's being taken away, but we had other tin ore that we had bought in the traders. I'm trying to think of what I remember from the last edit that I did, how many, uh, how much tin ore was already in the economy. Have we lost any? Tin ore, 16. That sounds about right. I want to say it was 16 and a half to 17. So we are still making it about as fast as we're using it. And 10 itself, we still have 800 available. So we're not using it. We're not uh, using it faster than we're, we're making. Well, whatever. We, we got plenty. <laughs> oh, late night recording. So let's see. What was I thinking of doing then with that? If we could get... Where's the rest of it stored, I guess, is kind of what I want to know. It would be here. Tin ore. 400 of it, at least, is there. And what's the chance... Let's see, have I missed anything important lately? I'm kind of ignoring all the, all the noises, thinking that they're only traders. I get in trouble when I do that. <clears throat> would any of the uh, markets grab tin ore? They will. That's kind of frustrating. There's no purpose. The market should only be grabbing what the residences need, and there's no need to ever grab ore. Although there may be products that are considered a material. Where am I? Here. That are useful in the uh, in the homes, and there's no way to separate out which separate out which materials. So it probably is no way to really specify, you know, to get down, you know, that close. So I guess we'll just have to deal with that. 500. We've been at 500 for a while now. I'm thinking that we've kind of leveled off on our uh, our firewood or our fuel production. So I'm not going to buy any more right now. Otherwise, we could get a bunch of glass, but we, we're making it now, so that shouldn't be a problem. So. 
iron ore we were buying when we saw it. I see I've lost my my uh, uh, town landing there. So I'm just going to say dismiss. Okay, that was that one. And this house is down. Wait a minute. They were able to take it down. Okay. Reclaim. We'll leave you. No. Darn it. Wait a minute. I would like to get a dock right there. Yeah, a dock right there. So, no, we do need to take that down. Never mind. Okay. So what's the chance you go right back to work on it? You did. Good job. Nomads. Town Hall. What do we have? There they all are. And that was a merchant. Alright, so what have we got? Town Hall 42. We don't really need to be taking them anymore. In fact, I'm going to say no. I want to keep this under control. This this map is too small to allow to get out of hand with no man's. We've only got a finite amount of spaces to make food in. So no, I'm going to say no to you. And we're not going to be uh, you know, just taking all that that, uh, that come on, on this map. <clears throat> you have got pewterware. Now, I don't think we're going to need that many fancy homewares. So I think we've got enough already. So, I don't see anything in there that's really important. There's marble, and I think there was jade. No, just marble. But we're going to get our own marble and jade uh, quarries in soon, down in that far south area. So we're going to dismiss you. You are rolling in to where? You're almost gone. You do have somebody sitting here. And you are luxury goods. Dismiss you. You're heading into one of these guys. Okay, so let's get a well in over here. I want to bring all the town services into here so that these guys are, are served with the market and what have you. And we need a well in over here, and, and we we're going to add a couple more medium houses in this area. So let's do that as well. Let's, let's see, wells, another merchant. All right, let's peek at that real quick. He landed there, and that is a bunch of seeds. A bunch of seeds, a bunch of seeds. Okay, pause the game. <clears throat> if we do want to get stables in, then we're going to need what? barley or corn or what was the other one oats I think those are the three I may be wrong but that's what I remember from the uh, George let's play I'm only seeing barley of that list right yeah so we'll go with that and that one I am pretty sure about so 4,000 how do we get 4,000 out of here <clears throat> Fancy furniture seems to be the uh, the winner almost every time, and that is three thousand there. Yeah, three thousand, and all of these guys makes four thousand. Did I turn you on? There you go. There we go. So trade and dismiss you, and now we have barley. Good. So that's done. This is half demolished. Now back to. <sighs> It's nice to have the variety coming in, but having this many traders does drive me nuts. But I was going to get rid of the farming trader because that's the one we use the least. But we don't really need to rebuild this guy. That was an experiment, but we'll, we'll rebuild it anyway. But it is nice to be able to specify exactly what I'm looking for and know that almost every one of them that come to that trader will be bringing just that. So. Sometimes it's worth being spammed. Anyway, meat, we're mostly looking for olives or carrots. Or well blubber if that shows up for, for a food supplier. Anyway, I'm not really seeing any of those jumping out of me. I'm not going to buy milk this time. Nope, I think we're fine. Dismiss you. So, can I get back to my job now? I can't. Though this one's almost going to finish. Let's get a well in here. You know, like the well at the crossroads. That way, if we do get a fire, we can take off any of four directions and do it. And that just went away. Alright. There. 
Let's put a well, which does provide a little bit of a, of a happiness range or radius there. And we don't really need a well over here because we're so close to water. But it will be beneficial to uh, help with the, uh, the unhappiness that comes out of... Do we have a road in between? We don't. They go through here. That comes from these tinneries. So let's go for that corner right. I think it's there. Can't quite see. Yeah, right there. All right, there's two wells going in. And I don't need to see those. <clears throat> so those are in, and let's rebuild this area. And that should finally solve our homeless problem after all these episodes. Um themes, docks, that's the mission theme, okay, just noticing these things have kind of moved around a little bit, uh, three, three will do it, yeah, we'll do that, and let's go ahead and put the trader in first, so I've got my spacing right, trader is right there, and it goes in this orientation, right there, and then another dock. There you are. And another house. We're going to be off-centered and wonky here, but that's fine. Most of what I do is off-centered and wonky. <laughs> that's life. You. There. Right there. Okay, so we're back to where we were, but functioning this time. How are we doing on housing compared to families nowadays? close, right? There you are. Overview. Let's take a peek at things. How are we doing? In fact, I see it's about time to shut this episode down anyway. 450 citizens now on this little map. Um, whoa, we have a lot of families compared to houses, so we could do some serious expanding. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Production, I see nothing else really important here, right? Clothed, 98%. Educated, only 79%. Health is a little low. And that's mostly because of the uh, the nomads we brought in. That's the uneducated part. They, they come in. I believe they come in uneducated. Production. Let's see. Logs. We're doing good. Doing good on stone. We're dead even on iron. Uh, fuel. We're a little low. Produced. Used. Current. So is this the current year? Although that's one year too. Huh. So tools were even. Uh, we're a little bit behind on food. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Uh, let's look at a graph. Food is a little behind, but when you look at the five year, we're still definitely on an upward trend. Okay, we'll minimize you, put you over there. Um, I feel like I'm doing more wandering than building right now. Got our tomatoes in, or uh, carrots in. Again, we've got blueberries over here. We've got blueberries coming in from all of our... Um, uh, oh, wait a second, all of our uh, gatherers. What are we short on here? We're short on sorghum? And even then, it may have zero sorghum. So we're not making enough sorghum to keep that going. And to keep this going. So, tell you what. Let's specialize here. This guy, well, before I do that, we're going to turn him off. And this guy is going to go away. All of the flour is going to come out of this side now. So the wheat over here is going to provide flour for this guy, which is time to employ him now. He is over here. Turn you on for, well, we'll say two employees right now, two windmills worth. And did I do that wrong? Oh, on. There we go. Wheat. And you're going to get some here real soon. Did get our storage barn in. Good. 
Yeah, let's put some dirt road in there. Yeah, something like that. Hmm, a dirt path. Oh, that's right. Faba had put a, uh, a bunch of squares underneath the railroad to make it stand out a little better. That's true. It might look good on top of the gravel. It's possible. Although, I believe we used the country road in order to make it... Can I do that underneath? I can. Yeah. In order to make it look a little more aged. Let's try that section. We'll come back to it next time and see what it looks like. That was a good idea. Um, what else do I want to squeeze in right now? We did get some wells in. I wanted to get some city services in over here. Before I do that, because I want to see where roads are and whatnot, let's go ahead and clear out some of the uh, trees in this area. In fact, for that matter, let's clear out everything. Kind of do something like, like that. That'll get rid of all of the foods as well. And give us a little bit of a bonus. You are out of... Probably carrots, I'm going to guess. Let's f we're not going to find out that way. Let's find out. Carrots, zero. Yep, darn. So we're still not making enough carrots, or this will be the first year of this harvest. So we haven't really added this to the economy yet. So maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. I was thinking about a, a fish dock in here. Let's go ahead and put that one in before we call this one done. And maybe next time we'll get to the uh, domestic animals. So, themes, docks, this guy, fish. There you are. It'd be nice to come off that road, but that's not going to be possible. Yeah, that's probably the best spot right there. Go over one, yeah, whatever we gain on one side, we lose on another. So you're going to be there. We're going to dock out of you. There's three. There's the middle. I got that right? Yeah. And come out there. There you are. i got to get in here a little closer. Let's pull it toward it. Well, we'll do it sideways. That way when we go up the slope, it, it, uh, it's easier to see. <clears throat> okay, you are out there. And one more goes where on the slope? That looks pretty good. We'll do that. Okay, I don't think we're going to need a staircase either. But we'll notice that next time. So this guy needs to be seen next time. And what else do we want to clear out? Let's clear this area out here if we're going to be looking at railroad tracks and possibly some kind of a depot in there. So things queued up for next episode will be trees coming out. And we've got wood storage right there. So if we were... Oh, he's full. No, he's not. That's done. This guy needs to be seen so we can put somebody to work in there. Um, clear that area. What else do we want to work on next time? Trading post just went in. All right, well, we're just going to put that one right there. Take you down to, like, two for now. We'll add two, but uh, we won't do anything with you yet. Pause. What else needs to be worked on next time that I want to get up on the screen? Eh, probably nothing. Now I'll zoom in over here. See how this came out. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to call this one done for now. And uh, next time we'll continue with this craziness. <laughs> this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.